What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're on the river, as you can see over there. And we're gonna be chasing after some fish. Just catch and release today. I've heard the carp are really bad, so it may end up being a carp episode, but stay tuned. I hope you guys really enjoy this because uh, I think it's gonna be a good day. Temperatures are pretty low, so hopefully these fish are eating today. It's not too hot for them, and hopefully we get into a few fish. Welcome back everybody. Today we are fishing uh, the river. Kind of tough conditions today. We got 47 degree water and flow rate's about 1300 today and we want it to be closer to 3000. Uh, it's gonna be a fun day. We'll see what happens and see if we can catch some fish off this wall or anywhere else out here in this deep hole. Gonna be throwing a variety of baits today. We're gonna be starting with lipless crank baits. We're gonna be throwing some hair jigs, some small swim bait paddle tails a variety of baits to see if we can catch anything. This body of water holds a uh, ton of different species, anything from white bass to wipers to largemouth, smallmouth, bluegill, crappie, dogfish, musky. Apparently there's northern pike in here, all kinds of catfish, all kinds of carp. You can catch literally just about anything. I got that five There's one. Oh my God. What is it, you can tell? Yeah, it's a carp. A huge one right on top. It might just be another one of those carp days. That's all you catch. I don't want to horse them too much and break the line. I swear my drag is like locked. Yeah, they freaking pull. I feel like horses. Now he's on top, I'm making progress. I got him right in the back by the tail. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ, Joel. We're good. Hey, thanks for getting wet for me. Hey, I still haven't let one get off when I'm in, so. That's a pretty big one. It's probably like 15, maybe. We caught a few with the rattle traps in our mouth. I think they eat in the mouth still. That's a lot. Yeah, but I'm guessing by the way that my pole is like dancing, it's probably hooked in the tail. We didn't count this weekend. We didn't. I didn't count this weekend, but I'm going to guess it was 15 to 20. They're so thick, it's crazy. All right in the top. Uh, maybe. Let's see if he comes in. You can grab that line. It's strong. Yeah, I just relined these things just for these carp so they'd yeah. stop breaking my line and losing all my lures. I thought that was a rock. I really hope this is a state record wiper. That'd be real cool. State record is down here. 22 pounds, two ounce. I got it memorized because I'm going to beat it. Yeah, it was caught down here. But that's a carp. Yeah, you see it come up? I'm pretty sure it's a carp. They run like hell. Maybe they just stop. I don't think I've had one take that much line ever. So this must be a big one or caught weird. You would think that this would be strong enough. Yeah. I mean, this is this has pulled in big fish before, and I can't seem to get this guy to move. 
Oh, Jesus. Right over me. If not, right there. He's just laying there. That's the worst thing they can do. Is just Coming in. Oh, he's going. Probably straighten my hooks. Surprisingly, no. I must have just got a soft spot. Shit. Might be longer now. There's one. I think that's a good fish. Yeah, white bass. White bass or a little wiper? Eh, I think it might be a little wiper. You think it's a wiper? Yeah, just by how chunky it is, I'm gonna guess it's a wiper. It's a nice first game fish. Literally throw straight down that wall with something like this. It just depends. I mean, sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's not. I'm gonna guess I got lucky. My biggest wiper is 11, 12. And uh, I come down here and I ask a lot of people and they're always like, oh, my biggest is 17. So I know there's big ones in here. Ooh, smally. There we go. Just about lost him. Looky there, we got us a fish taco for dinner. I don't, that's probably about 14 inches. That thing's beautiful, man. There you go, big guy. Get bigger. Well, that's where those shadow usually run this wall. I don't see any today. But maybe they're pushed up or they're deeper. There's another monster Asian carp. Come on now. That's unbelievable. Another Asian carp, unbelievable. They're everywhere here. Well, we made it back. Uh, fishing was not as good as we hoped, but we did get into a few. Got a really nice small mouth, a uh, small wiper, and also got into a bunch of carp. So we didn't go home empty handed. We've got a few fish uh, marked down, but good day for sure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode and uh, hopefully we'll be back out here soon. Um, I know the water temperature is starting to finally warm up still, and uh, hopefully these fish get more and more active as it starts to go on. I've seen a few shad popping up, so the shad spawn is definitely going to bring these fish uh, up a little bit closer and definitely getting them more active and more munching. They're going to be munching on all them shad, so looking forward to a couple weeks uh, ahead of us, and hopefully we get into some big fish. Stay tuned, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will catch you on another episode. Peace.